Mill Road, a street named by the windmill at the end of its road back in the 19th century, is a diverse and populated street within the Cambridge area that every day offers a range of products and produce through its populated local businesses to the public, and recently was marked the 26th coolest place to live in the Times for noticing its vibrant array of independent shops and its strong community spirit. Back in Victorian times, when Cambridge's shopping district was expanding, Mill Road was unable to accompany such an array of popular shops because of its notorious traffic and lack of parking. Its homes and available land were occupied by railway workers who came to live on Mill Road after building the railway in 1845. This resulted in a more restricted local and specialised set of shops opening its doors to the independent and proud community. From there on, Polish, Chinese, Indian and other communities moved in and set up businesses in the area creating more specialised and local businesses for the wider community and giving Mill Road its distinctive cultural flavour. So much so that any larger chain shops wanting to open on the street are highly detested and voted against. A couple of years ago um, there was a report published that said that Cambridge was a clone town. And what it meant by that was that our high street looks like every other city's high street, you know, it's the same old shops. And uh, Mill Road offers something very different. It is full of independently run specialist shops. And so um, I think, you know, on the whole, people in Cambridge felt that that report was unfair and that we do have a lot more to offer. And I think that's why um, people are a lot more supportive of independent shops here and want to encourage that and also publicise that. We have a lot of international students in Cambridge, generally speaking, from both the University of Cambridge and Anglia Ruskin. And we have shops on Mill Road that cater for students from all over the world. We've got Korean shops, Chinese shops, you know, cuisine from all over the, all over the world. You know, the reason those shops are still going is because the, there are customers who want that. One small shop that's been making a name for itself within the street is Limoncello, an authentic Italian deli located past Mill Road Bridge. Opening on August 28, 1997 as a smaller shop, it moved in October 2001 to its current location and has been blooming amongst the Mill Road community with at least 90% of its stock imported from Italy and its fresh produce made locally, including bread from Italian bakeries in Cambridge and Peterborough. It offers freshly baked pizza, a deli area with olives and antipasti and a small cafe area for locals to sit and enjoy coffee in its Italian decor while on weekends its bacon service expands to include pastries. But what makes a shop like this, especially within this community, so popular, special and needed? And what is so special about Mill Road? With a lifelong passion for Italian food, we asked owner Steve Turville. Being a niche retailer is very, very popular in this location and conversely, if you're a large branded store, it's very, very unpopular, particularly with the people who shop here. They just don't want um, supermarkets, they don't want chains of uh, coffee, coffee bars opening. And I'm really, really shocked at how anti people are um, against the sort of branded shops and retailers. Uh, it's very, very interesting. There's a real sense of local community here and, the, and protectionism and there are loads of like different clubs and societies that are working really hard to promote the area and keep it, keep it the same. The shops on Mill Road are the backbone of the community. I mean, the businesses here uh, you know, provide for the residents that live here and equally the residents support the businesses. So the two go hand in hand and I think that the reason we have specialist shops um, is in part to do with the fact that Mill Road is, is a kind of multicultural community but also it's an educated community um, and the people around here are very conscious of the way they shop uh, and so you'll find a lot of um, locally initiated campaigns to promote shopping locally rather than buying from big chain stores where you don't necessarily know where your food is coming from and you don't know also about the behaviour of the people kind of managing the, the shop. Um, you know, the, the shops on Mill Road, you'll know the name of the shop owner, you'll know a little bit about where they came from, how they came to be in Mill Road and how they run their business as well. Mill Road is quite a special place because it is, it is basically different. You've got some really unusual shops with some really unusual shop owners, not, not only ourselves included, but it's, um, it's a really good microcosm of, of, of sort of speciality shops. You've got uh, you know, Korean 
Chinese, um, Arabic, uh, Italian, obviously, and uh, it's it's just great to have that sort of mix and variety, so that um, you can you can pick and choose what you, what you want to do. You don't have to go in them. It's just nice to look at them sometimes, or appreciate the fact that they're there, and it's not a boarded up unit or some you know sort of rather plasticky sort of fronted um, you know burger joint or whatever it may be. In England, you, what you tend to find is that people are very open to all sorts of different cultures and foods. I uh, particularly noticed this when I, I've been in Italy, where they just, they don't only just eat Italian, they will eat like what their village eats. And they don't do Chinese takeaways, they don't do curries, they just don't do it. And it can be right down to the particular shape of pasta. They will only have this particular shape. So. It's brilliant, I think, that in England we are so open and, yeah, we do, through food, sort of help, you know, integrate with other people. We get Arabs coming in here, um, you know, Chinese, all, all the different, obviously American and European. Everybody sort of, in Cambridge at least, is, is quite cosmopolitan and not so much stuck in a rut and open to ideas. And, yeah, yeah I think food has a part to play in that. At the end of the day, I think if you're strapped for cash, you will go to wherever is cheapest. But I think for those that sort of have a little bit extra money, they are aware of the impact of spending locally, that that money comes back into our community, that it keeps the local businesses going, it keeps the area distinctive. And so in some cases, people are prepared to spend a bit more um, in order to support the community. But, you know, that's only where people can. It's a good question whether or not uh, speciality shops are essential. Um, to be honest, I don't think they are. <laughs> we're a bit superfluous, but we're nice to have, and it makes the, um, the whole sort of environment nicer and a bit more unique and special. Um, life would go on without Lee Manchella, I'm afraid to say. <laughs> but it wouldn't be so much fun.